Montenegro is an interesting destination to visit because of its magnificent natural beauty and unique history. This tiny country packs a strong punch for its size, with jaw-dropping landscapes around every corner, ruins of conquered kingdoms, and fashionable underground locations. This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about the top 10 things to do and see in Montenegro. Montenegro is a Balkan country located on the Adriatic Sea. It's bordered on the north of Croatia, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, on the northeast of Serbia, on the east of Kosovo, and on the south of Albania. The Adriatic Sea lies on Montenegro's west. The catastrophic civil war in Yugoslavia in the 1990s had a significant impact on Montenegro's tourism industry. Tourism in Montenegro has begun to recover in recent years, owing to the stabilization of the region, and Montenegro is being rediscovered by tourists from all over the world. In 2007, the country had a high in tourism that was nearly equal to pre-war levels. As a result, many highways have been repaired, shortening travel time, and numerous hotels have been built or restored. So, without further ado, here are the top 10 things to do and see in Montenegro. Top 10. The Parast Parast is a small hillside town situated between the coast and the mountains, located in the midst of the Bay of Kotor, near the narrow passage that opens up to the Adriatic. Its single main street is lined with charming buildings, decaying bell towers, and picturesque coastal cafes. A slice of paraca torta, a delectable almond cake, and a local specialty is the greatest item to eat at said eateries. The Venetians founded Parast, which is known for its majestic marble palazzos and gorgeous churches. Parast has its own distinct history and culture, with numerous annual festivals honoring the town's maritime background. Before we move on to the next place, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now because if you don't, you'll be missing a wonderful tour video. Top 9. Kotor Old Town A vacation to Montenegro would be incomplete without a stop in Kotor, the country's most popular tourist attraction and crowning gem. Kotor Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is one of the Adriatic's most magnificent walled town centers and a suitable challenger to Dubrovnik or Splits. The heritage of the numerous various empires that have occupied Kotor over the ages may be seen in the medieval Roman churches, Venetian palaces, and towering Byzantine towers. The myths and legends surrounding Kotor will keep you intrigued, while the sheer beauty of the orange-roofed cottages, narrow pathways strung with laundry, and native Kotor cats will have you reaching for your camera at every step. It feels like stepping back in time as you enter the old town through the gates that still bear Venetian insignia. The ideal way to see Kotor is to stroll around the cobblestone streets early in the morning before the throng arrive. Climb up to St. John for a bird's eye view of the roofs and turquoise bay beyond, either via the official trail or the ladder of the Kotor. Top 8. Dermator National Park The coast and sea are synonymous with Montenegro, but the country's spectacular interior vistas are equally as impressive. Mountainous terrain covers nearly the whole eastern side of Montenegro. Dormitory National Park in the northwestern corner is a must-see for hikers, kayakers, and other adventurers. Montenegro is known for its shoreline and sea, but the country's beautiful interior views are equally impressive. Almost the entire eastern side of Montenegro is covered in mountainous terrain. Hikers, kayakers, and other adventurers should visit Dormitory National Park in the northwest corner. Don't miss the climb to no Gisero or Black Lake, which vies with Bled Slovenia for the title of Balkan's Most Beautiful Lake. This part of Montenegro is particularly beautiful in the late spring when the wildflowers come into bloom. Top 7. Lake Skadar Central Montenegro is not only beautiful to look at, but it's also rich in flora and fauna. The waters of Lake Skadar are shared by Montenegro and Albania, but the Montenegrin side of the lake is the richest and marshiest. Skadar, with a surface area of nearly 500 square kilometers, is the largest lake on the Balkan Peninsula. Despite its size, it's a true European hidden treasure that has managed to stay out of the spotlight. It's a haven for unique and migratory birds to lay their eggs, more than 280 bird species in total. The Albanian city of Skadar on the other side of the lake is the entryway to the accursed mountains. There are a couple of different ways you can take in the beauty of Skadar Lake. The first is by riding the train from Podgorica to Bar, the last leg of the Belgrade to Barut, which is counted among the most beautiful train rides in the world. The train runs directly across the lake via narrow gauge railway. Top 6. Tara River Canyon The Tara River Canyon, which is part of Dermator National Park, is one of Europe's largest and deepest canyons, not just in the Balkans. The river flows down from Bosnia and Herzegovina, 
forming a natural boundary between the two nations, and eventually opens up to a canyon just outside of Zalbjak, Montenegro. Whitewater rafting is popular in Tara Canyon in the late spring and summer. Dardavika Bridge is the most magnificent sight along the gorge. Just a few years later, in an attempt to stop the Italian advance, incredibly one of the engineers responsible for the design was involved in the plot to bring it down. The arches, which were rebuilt in 1946, magnificently reflect the sweeping mountains beyond. Top 5. Starry Bar Old Bar, also known as Starry Bar, is an ancient town on Montenegro's southern coast, close to the Albanian border. It dates back to the early Middle Ages and is best renowned for its huge castle and Ottoman-built aqueduct, which are set back in the hills away from the sea. Starry Bar is a gorgeous location with a dreadful past. An earthquake struck the section of Montenegro in 1979, demolishing the aqueduct and rendering the community waterless. Residents were forced to evacuate their homes and relocate to the seaside, where they founded a new town, today's bar, and began reconstructing their lives. Starry Bar had become stranded in time. The location is completely encircled by dense olive groves. One ancient tree known as Stara Maslina has been standing in Starry Bar for almost 2,000 years and is claimed to be one of the world's oldest species. Top 4. Ostrog Monastery Ostrog Monastery in Nixik, Montenegro's second largest city, is the country's most revered Orthodox Christian landmark and a key magnet for pilgrims from all over the world. Even if you don't consider yourself religious, I'm sure you'll agree that the monastery is a work of art. Ostrog is located on a steep cliff 900 meters above the verdant Zeta Valley, gleaming white against in a bed of ochre stone. The top monastery dedicated to St. Basil was founded in 1665. It contains many candlelit cloisters and open balconies located within two massive caves, giving the impression that the monastery was carved out of the rock. Top 3. Budva Old Town Budva, Montenegro's most visited resort and a major cruise ship port in the summer, is a more glamorous and touristy version of Kotor. The Riviera and Jazz Beach have become a playground for the wealthy and famous. Although Budva isn't for everyone, it's worth battling the crowds to explore the stone passageways and small streets of Stari Grad, a medieval fortified city that's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Top 2. Sveti Stefan it's easy to see why the island of Sveti Stefan is the poster child of Montenegrin tourism. This is without a doubt one of Montenegro's most stunning locations. Sveti Stefan and the country's central coast, just south of Budva and the Bay of Kotor, began as a little fishing community in the 15th century. The entire town was fortified to protect its citizens from pirates and Ottoman assaults as it was built on an isolated islet. A narrow causeway connects Sveti Stefan to the mainland but it's off-limits unless you're a guest at the Amman Sveti Stefan. Shady paths along the chalk-colored cliffs that line the coast north of the causeway are a great place to walk and watch the sun go down over the island. Top 1. Blue Cave – Plava Spilha The Blue Cave, located at Montenegro's Lustica Peninsula, is one of the country's most renowned tourist destinations. The Blue Grotto, as it's often called, gets its name from the iridescent blue water that reflects throughout the cave. The Blue Cave, the largest of numerous caverns on the peninsula, has clear, warm water that's roughly 5 meters deep and ideal for swimming or snorkeling. Many people believe that seeing the water beneath the surface is necessary to properly appreciate it. The cave, which has a 9-meter high ceiling, is a frequent stop for tour boats and most of them will give you approximately 10 to 15 minutes to swim. And that's it for today's video. Which do you think is the best place to visit in Montenegro? Let's know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Answerly and Answerly tokens, check out the links in the description.